Greetings, everyone. This is Verse Breakdown. I am Anwender One Nomren from A Pace to Fear God. And today's verse is John chapter 8, verse 44, which reads, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and a bow not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Satan the devil is a murderer, mainly really because of what happened in Genesis chapter 3 from verses 1 to 6. And Jesus Christ said he was a murderer from the beginning. The beginning was referring to that event. Because Adam and Eve were supposed to live forever, but Satan the devil brought death into the equation by deceiving them so that they would sin against God. And because of that sin, obviously, they would have to die. After all, for the wages of sin is death. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. Our lives have been shortened to no more than really 120 years, if we read Genesis chapter 6 verse 3. And remember, this is nothing compared to God's life, which is eternal. Psalm chapter 90 verse 2 and chapter 93 verse 2. Now our lives are just like a shadow, and our day is without hope. If we read Job chapter 7 verse 6. And because of that, we're into this state of us not living very long before God. And to God, that is murder. He's a liar because he tries to deceive people, near people, with things that aren't actually true. He tried to do this to Jesus in Matthew chapter 4. He was trying to use places in the Bible to kind of tell Jesus Christ that don't worry about what God told you to do here. Just come with me. It's going to be fantastic. Look at all the kingdoms that I've got. Just rule them. Rule them with me and you'll have peace in this world. That was a lie because Jesus Christ would not have peace. Things would eventually go wrong. And in our time, the last days, Satan the devil has done the same thing. If you read Revelation chapter 13 from verses 1 to 4, it describes what he set up in our time. He set up the beast. It's that concept and idea of secularity and believing in ourselves, creating standards that will allow us to seek for things in the world and forget about God entirely. That is what the beast is all about. And ultimately, he has set that up once again to make humanity think that being without God is the best way to go. But in reality, it isn't. And he is a liar because of that. If you look at Revelation chapter 16 from verses 13 to 16, but specifically verses 14 and 15, it describes how Satan is doing this to gather them to that great day of God Almighty, which essentially means he's trying to make them enemies of God and his purpose. And he does that with such techniques as deceit. And we must understand, he also has agents who have transformed themselves into ministers of righteousness. If you read 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 15, or from verses 13 to 15 for more details, and such ones use the same techniques of using deceit to lure people into their fold. And those people are labeled in the Bible as false prophets, or false Christ, antichrist, other terms like that. And Jesus Christ warned us that they would be ab abundant in our time. If you read Matthew chapter 24 and verses 5, 11, and 24, to try and satisfy the itching ears of people in this world. Isaiah chapter 30 verse 10 and 2 Timothy chapter 4 and verses 3 and 4. They will try to do such things to lure people into their folds. They are lying people, professing peace even when there is no peace. If you read 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 verse 3 and Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 17. They murder people in that light. If you read Psalm chapter 10 verse 8. He sitteth in the lurking places of the villages. In the secret places doth he murder the innocent. His eyes are set privily against the poor. Those are false prophets in this world who set a snare and a trap, and they use it to catch men. If we read Jeremiah chapter 5, verse 26. However, God has set up a bigger trap for them to catch them all and destroy them. Satan the devil is a part of that group. If we read Revelation chapter 20, from verses 7 to 10, he will ultimately be cast away 
and defeated and killed. And his false prophets in this world will suffer similar fate. Their doctrines will no more be respected or listened to. People will see them as foolish. They won't be able to get so much money and wealth for themselves anymore. Instead, they will be cast out and the people that they would deceive will no more be food for them. If you read Ezekiel chapter 34 from verses 9 to 16. And that's where I'm going to stop on discussing the verse John chapter 8 verse 44, which reads, Ye are of your father the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when we make future entertaining risk breakdowns just like this. Have a good day.